Good morning. Okay, I'm just gonna log on here so I can see. Questions. Happy snowy, icy, crappy weather Saturday here in Wisconsin. Spending some time in my craft room about to make some projects with some brand new product and I wanted to hop on here and give you guys a sneak peek. I'm just logging on my computer so that as I go through this stuff, if you guys have any questions, <clears throat> um, you can, I can see what you're asking me. Remember, I live in the country, so my internet is kind of slow sometimes. Here we go. Okay, I think I have this going. <clears throat> so, I was not able to attend on stage last weekend. I didn't get my uh, reservations made in time. And Stampin' Up! announced some really big changes coming to the um, color groups and, of course, to the new catalog. Um, and one of the really exciting changes, uh, I wouldn't even say changes, announcements that they made at on stage that um, a lot of demonstrators who weren't able to attend are finding out now is uh, some of the new product is going to be early released for all of our customers to buy starting May 1st. And I pre-ordered my bundle, and so I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of this super pretty. It's one of my favorite uh, bundles that I saw in the new catalog as I flipped through. Uh, I want to give you a sneak peek of this bundle. So the bundle is called the Share What You Love Bundle, uh, which is really cool because um, Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart includes a Share What You Love in it. And I will uh, tell you what the statement from the heart is as I go through and show you all of the really cool stuff in the Spite uh, Bundle. So details for you. You will be able to order this bundle starting May 1st and you have a few options. So you're gonna have an option for just the stamps that come in it and I think an embossing folder, some paper assortment. They're, I think they're gonna give you three options. So um, kind of a basic bundle and then a stepped up bundle that contains a little bit more of the products and then a gotta have it all bundle. For those of you that uh, we're stamping last year. They did the same thing with that Eastern Beauty bundle, and it was, oh my gosh, it was really great. I love it when they give us a chance to buy stuff before the catalog comes out because we're all really excited and get to use our new stuff. So today I'm going to show you this bundle that's coming out May 1st, and I'm going to show you the new in colors. Some of you may have seen them already. They've also changed the design on their ink pads, and so I'm going to show you uh, the new ink pads, and I'm going to show you compared to the old ink pads, which I think you're going to find really cool. So let me flip this over. Ooh, you got a little sneak peek already. Make sure that I have everything... I don't <clears throat> I don't want that light there. I think it's actually better without the light to glaring on it. Move this so I know everything is in the center. Okay, so first I want to talk paper. Um there's going to be a new designer series paper stack 
with 24 sheets of this patterned paper. The colors that the DSP pack are featuring are Basic Black, Blackberry Bliss, Crumb Cake, Grapefruit Grove. You might be hearing some new colors here. Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, Rich Razzleberry, So Saffron, Tranquil Tide, and Whisper White. And then, just like with most of the uh, bundles and designer series paper in the catalogs, um, there is a coordinating paper stack of cardstock that's going to go with the designer series paper. So these are the colors that will go with the DSP. And that way, if you're ordering this bundle, you'll have some cardstock colors uh, that already coordinate with the new DSP. I always recommend buying the variety stacks of cardstock, especially if you're a beginner stamper, because the colors already coordinate, and it's a great way to make a lot of projects without having to buy a stack of each individual paper until you learn which colors are kind of your go-to. <clears throat> now, I want to show you this DSP. Good morning, Karen. I try to keep most of the edges intact on this because of how I store it. So I'm going to go in this corner here. So as you can see, I haven't even opened this and looked at it yet. So you guys are seeing it live for the first time at the same time I'm seeing it live for the first time. Okay. So here is our gorgeous designer series paper. Now it's the... 30th anniversary of Stampin' Up! this year, and so, I'm just going to slide this out of here. Um, in the last catalogs, a lot of them have had some metallic, uh, I would say, kind of trim to them. Well, these sheets, I'm hoping you can see this with the light hitting it. They're, a lot of them are pearlized because the pearl is the symbol for the 30th anniversary. And of course, like always, our pieces are double-sided. So, isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. This one, not all of the pieces are pearlized. Oh, look at this. That's really cool. Uh, let's see what's next. Now this one, here's another one that's pearlized. Oh, it's so pretty on the back side. I love that. Boy, these colors are gorgeous. They just really pop. Um, let's see. Oh, yep, this one is pearlized too. I'm trying to angle it so you can see. These flowers are pearlized. Oh, that's gorgeous. There's a lot of paper in here. I mean, 24 sheets and they're double sided, so we have a lot of options. Ooh, some stripes. It's pretty. And coordinating flowers. Oh, this one is pearlized too. I wish that I knew the names of flowers. I don't know what these are, but this is gorgeous. This is using the new Grapefruit Grove in color. 
Um, that's one of my favorites so far. I, having not used them all yet. Okay, so I'm going to fan these out so you can see. I mean, look at these. How well these go together. They're so pretty. I love them. Of course, Stampin' Up! like always does an amazing job coordinating their colors. Their artists are like the best eye for color. I wish I had it. Sometimes I get lucky, huh? And then I just want to Here's all of the options we have with the DSP, and then you can see how these colors for the coordinating paper pack, let me pull these out too, you can see how well this goes. Hi Carol! Today's a perfect day for being in the stamp room because the weather is really crappy. Karen, where are you from? Are you from Wisconsin too? <clears throat> so here I can give you an idea of how well this stuff coordinates together. This is going to make some really pretty cards. And I'm actually... Uh, swapping with some demonstrator friends of mine so boy, we are sending our cards out in the next couple weeks so in early May I will have tons of ideas for you uh, what to make with these products and uh, I'm going to be stamping with them today because of course I have to make my swaps too so uh, I may even snap some pictures as I'm working through my projects Oh, okay, you're in, in Chilton, Karen. So you are experiencing the ice and the snow, too. Oh, it's so crappy. It's a good day to be inside stamping, I think. What do you think? Aren't these papers gorgeous? I love the new in colors. Speaking of which... Okay, I'm going to clear up my space here. So, colors go really great together. I'm really excited to use them. Um, um, I think that very vanilla is going to be really pretty here. We've got some white, so some white will make it pop. Let's set this aside, and I want to show you some of the other stuff that's coming in the bundle. So, if you, depending on what, which bundle option you go with, there is a new ribbon, velvet ribbon. Let me pull this off here. And this is rich razzleberry. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Now I don't want to keep going back and forth here, but look at how well this is going to coordinate with everything. Pretty. And there are also some pearlized doilies. So again, being the 30th anniversary, they've pearlized the doilies as well. So we've got... These are really pretty. I hope you can see the light. Here, maybe if I turn this on for a second. Can you see how that's pearlized in the light? So that is gorgeous. There's a lot of them in here. And I like to cut mine down, especially and just have them kind of peek out behind my layers. Um... You also can get the bundle that includes these. Um, they're called the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. And these look like... Oops. Oh, no. That was a little too rough with my pearls. They are coming off of the sheet. 
So here we've got some color options for some embellishments, and that's going to go really nice too. And there's also an embellishment, what are they calling this? Share what you love embellishment kit. I don't even know what's in here, you guys. I'm really excited. Now, this comes in a box, and on the front here, or on the top, it says, this is the statement of the heart, the Stampin' Up! statement of the heart. To love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference, and I really believe that. Oh, this is cool. So we've got some mini paper clips, some <clears throat> little... If you can see through here, these little roses, those are cute. Some baker's twine. And then these punch out, these just are going to be able to pop out labels. Those are pretty. And we've got a few bigger labels in there too. Now, let me move this stuff out of the way so I can show you the stamps that are coming in this set. All right. Hopefully my mountain of stuff I keep moving out of the way. It doesn't fall over here. Okay, so the first one, um, is the Statement of the Heart stamp set. Um, this is the same Statement of the Heart I read you that's coming from the top of this embellishment box. So that's just a single st uh, stamp. Now for those of you that make and sell cards, uh, you know that Stampin' Up! policy is that you need to uh, contain use their copyright. So here's a new stamp set as well, the Make a Different stamp set. This is all different letters so that you can, and, and then it's got different sayings. So hand stamped by, and then with the letters you could create your name. So I could do hand stamped by Rose and spell out my name. Handcrafted just for you, made with love. If you have a website, it's got a www and a .com. To and from, homemade by, from the desk of. That would be really cool for some stationery. This belongs to, deliver to. This is really pretty. I love this little flower too. So, here's one of the stamp sets. And the Love What You Do stamp set. Gorgeous. So we've got a watercolor wash stamp. These pretty flowers. A couple other washes. Um, it's a beautiful day. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. So this is really pretty. I'm going to be making some cards with this today. And then we've also got a new embossing folder. Let's open this up and take a look. This is the lovely floral dynamic textured embossing folder. So when it's a dynamic textured embossing folder, it's going to be one of those thicker ones where you don't need the top or the bottom plate, remember. So this is thicker and it's just oh, pretty. It's this big flower with some leaves. Hopefully you can see that. Here's the ink image of it. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. So what do you think of the stamp set? And the bundle, I think every single year Stampin' Up! outdoes themselves. They just, I love all their new products that they always come up with. Okay. So now on to the new in colors. 
big changes this year. Not only did Stampin' Up! revamp their colors, and I'll do another live on that, um, they changed their ink pads. So, we have a totally redesigned look to the ink pads. Let me grab one here. Here's the old, here's the new. So, with our old, remember, we're popping open, flipping it up, and then sliding it, closing it. It's not, um, a lot of beginner stampers are having a hard time figuring out how to work that. The new stamp pads open just like a compact. So they are going to flip up, and then they're going to slide open. There's a couple great features about these stamp pads. Notice that now the you'll get an additional sticker to slide right in here so that you can see what color ink pad you're using. So no more stamping the wrong color or um, oops, thinking that you're grabbing the darker when really you're grabbing the lighter and ruining your ink pad. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Sarah. And then to close them, just like before, you're going to grab, slide, and then listen. It snaps shut. So you've got a tighter fit on these. So we're just popping open, sliding, and then shut. And then we've got, of course, the color on the edge, like always, so that you can see it when you've um, <clears throat> stored it. So, okay, blueberry bushel, one of the new in colors, a bright, vibrant blue. I love this. Call me Clover, another one of the new in colors. I think that green is so pretty. We've got a bright, beautiful pineapple punch. My favorite, Grapefruit Grove. I love this one. I know people... Um, have been a bit brokenhearted that Peekaboo Peach is going away. Well, they've replaced it with another peachy tone, and I actually think this one is even prettier. I love this color. And then finally, Lovely Lipstick. Yes, Sherry, I agree. I love the redesign of the ink pads. In fact... I'm going, I love them so much, even the colors that are staying, I'm going to swap them all out for the new ink pad designs. Now, here is another cool thing about these ink pads. Can you see in the corner, we've got some dimples here. So these are depressed. And then if you flip it over, we've got some little, I don't know what you'd call these, like, little dimples that are popped out on the back. Well, these fit right into the dimples on the top. So now our stamp pads can stack. See how nice they stack together? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let me grab one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's five of our old pads. As you can see, I'm having a hard time even keeping them together. Look at the difference and how much space these take up. I love the new ink pad design. Sarah, yeah, I just, I thought, well, okay, I only need to get the new colors, and then I saw them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I gotta have them for all my colors. So, I mean, these I can't even barely stack, but these, nice and compact. In fact, as I've been stamping, I've just been leaving them on my desk. Now, for those of you who have the color caddy, I have already tested you can slide them into the color caddy and then that front lip kind of keeps them in place you don't want to go 
twirling your color caddy around like a crazy lady because they aren't quite as tight of a fit and they will slide out. So you do have to be careful with that. Now, good morning, Katie. Stampin' Up! says that they are working on a new storage solution for these ink pads. But in the meantime, the color caddy works just fine. So, that's it for my sneak peek today, ladies. I just was really excited about this stuff, and I had to show you. Of course, I didn't even open my own stuff, as you can see. <clears throat> if you have... Any questions about the new product, let me know. Again, everything I showed you today is going to be available for purchase May 1st. How much of the stuff is included in your bundle depends on the level of bundle that you purchase. And um, I'm going to be making some products with this over the next few days that I'm in my stamp room. So make sure you're watching for some ideas so that when you get your uh, bundle... You're already going to have some ideas from me. Oh, Sarah is saying if anyone has the stamp and storage boxes, they have a cheap shim you can purchase too. Oh, so that's good. So for those of you who have invested in stamp and storage boxes, there's a she's saying there's a cheap shim that you can buy so that these slide in and fit snugly just perfect. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing that because I don't have any stamp and storage boxes, although I would absolutely love them. Uh, so the good news is the new stamp pads are not going to be an issue for storage. Um, I love them. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning, ladies and stampers, if there's any gentlemen stampers watching. I hope that you guys stay safe in this winter weather. Uh, it's really crazy and icy out there. Carol, you too, down in the Dells especially. So get stamping and uh, share some ideas with, with your friends if you're stamping. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your weekend.